More than 1,300 anti-Semitic incidents reported just in 2019. And look, look at the New York area yeah. here. We spoke to local Holocaust survivors about anti-Semitism today. 75 years ago, Soviet soldiers liberated Auschwitz-Birkenau, the deadliest Nazi death camp where more than one million were murdered. It's one of three camps 94-year-old Sonia Wachowski survived. But she truly believes... It can happen again. If it happened in the 20th century, now I can see it can happen. What hate can do... As a child, Judy Jacobs and her parents survived Nazi-occupied Budapest and six months in the Bergen-Belsen concentration camp. Once we had been there about two months and we were all skin and bones. Now, Warshawski and Jacobs feel compelled to share their stories of surviving the Holocaust that murdered six million Jews. They knew they're dying and they will tell us, remember, if you will make it, Tell the world what took place. I keep asking myself, haven't we learned anything? Unfortunately, it's not in the past. It's something that we're dealing with pretty much on a day-to-day -day basis. Including a recent rash of attacks in the New York area. Several people were stabbed during a Hanukkah celebration in New York, and a shooting at a New Jersey grocery store left six dead, including a police officer and two shooters. The way the anti-Semitism now is spreading, it's, it's for me, unbelievable. This is a poison which is going on for centuries. I cry. I think it's horrible. And for me, it's, it's deja vu. And in April 2014, touched the Kansas City area too. Three people were shot and killed at the Jewish Community Center and Village Shalom in Overland Park. Six years later, Geller says the youth in Kansas City's Jewish community face anti-Semitism often. A lot of times it's it's Nazi and Holocaust jokes and jokes about killing Jews. Sometimes it, you know, comes in the form of Israel-related rhetoric. The fact is that every single Jewish high schooler that I've spoken with feels that they experience anti-Semitism, um, most of them on a semi-regular basis in their schools. In a 2019 survey of American Jews by the American Jewish Committee, 84% believe anti-Semitism has increased over the past five years, and 35% said they had been the target of anti-Semitism in that time. But 75% of people who had said that they did experience an anti-Semitic incident in the past year uh, did not report it. Overland Park police say since 2017, they have reported 11 hate crimes to the KBI, two classified as anti-Jewish. Geller does want to spread awareness of hate, but even more so of hope. I really do believe that it is possible to build a society that is welcoming to all faiths and uh, deeply pluralistic, that is uh, not tolerant, but embracing. And why 75 years later, Judy and Sonia don't just go out to share their past, but preach simple kindness where words matter. And I try to you put in see. love into their hearts to help others, not to make fun from others. This is what keeps me still going. They all say kindness and education of what happened is key. And, and we could never fully explain what either Sonia or Judy went through. Both lost many members of their families. Sonia watched her mother enter a gas chamber. And in Auschwitz, she narrowly escaped selection for the gas chamber herself. To hear more of their stories in their own words, Judy also in her own words, go to KSHB.com.